Hi everyone, it's Elizabeth here at the library and I have another question I'm going to answer. This one's actually a faculty question, but it could help anyone who's looking how to find an electronic book and then how to download pages of that book from our library collection. So in this case, the faculty member is using one of the library resources for their free textbook for their class, so that's awesome. And what's happening is they're wondering how will students access that book and then how can they download pages from that book? So I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So the first thing I'll recommend is we're gonna start on the library webpage. And the best thing I would do to search for this is to click on the library catalog. And once we've opened the library catalog, I would just paste the name of the textbook and then I would search. And now my search results have come up and the very first search choice is actually the textbook. So I'm gonna click on the title of the textbook. And then from here, you have this option where it says view online. So in this case, the textbook is available in multiple collections that the library subscribes to. And I would like to let you know that we, the library does not have every textbook, but there are quite a few uh, faculty members who are using free digital textbooks and the library does try to link to those. And in this case, the faculty member has uh, chosen to use a book that the library already had. And so we're super excited about that. So I just wanted to make sure that we are aware of that. But in this case, what will happen is we have multiple options where the textbooks of, where this book is available. And so I'm going to click on one of those and it's going to open in one of our library databases that we have a subscription to. And when it opens up, the option here is that we're actually going to click on PDF full text. And when the book loads, there are different options here. So as a student or as a faculty member, you can of course just read the book inside of this database. It's totally fine to do it that way. But if you're looking that you would like to um, download a PDF or email some pages to yourself, this is how you would do that. In the option where it says email pages or print pages, you're actually gonna have the same kind of option come up. If you do the print pages, it will create a PDF. So that way you can also download the PDF just to your computer. So in this case, what happens here is this book has a number of pages that you can download at one time, like in a block of time. And that is dictated by the publisher. So in this case, you can only download 100 pages at one time, but this book is over 500 pages. So there's two different ways you can do that. The first one is you can click on this option that says current page to the next. And since it's up to 100, you would have to write in 99 pages and that would give you 100 pages. And then you could say print PDF or email pages and they will send them to you. So the other thing is, um, so if you do that, then you would have to go to page 99 or whatever the last pages that you downloaded, you would go into the ebook, you would find that actual page. So then that would be the current page you were on. And then you would just say, and the next 99 pages. And in this case, since it's a little over 500 pages, you would have to do that six times to get all of the book. And you can do that all in one setting. But since most of our instructors usually assign a chapter or a section, the other option is if you click on a section, you can see that it changes and it says this section, and then it tells you how many pages are in that section. So if this was me when I'm a student, truthfully, what I would do is first, I would probably just read them online because sometimes I don't necessarily want to have a whole bunch of files down on my computer. But if I found that it was easier for me to have them on my computer to do any kind of markups, I would probably download them by section or by chapter based on the reading, just so I can um, really easily find those. So in this case, you would just click on this section, then you would say print PDF, and then you would download it that way. And so that is how you can access an electronic book that the library has by a title search in our catalog. And then this is how you can email yourself pages or you can print them to either print them if you really want to, or just download them as a PDF. So I hope this answers your question. And if you have any other questions, please feel free to contact us in the library and we're happy to help. Have a great day.